And despite concerns about security, members of Connecticut's congressional delegation were part of today's historic inauguration. It has been an emotional day for some and one they hope will bring unity to a divided country. Channel 3 Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff is standing by with reaction. Susan. Aaron, as we listen to President Biden today, he spoke a lot about moving forward and bringing our country together. As for Connecticut's elected leaders, they say it won't be easy, but they are hopeful. President Joe Biden spoke to the nation on the very steps where thousands of angry rioters forced their way into the nation's capital just two weeks ago. So for me, it, it was really um, emotional, very emotional. I, I listened uh, to his speech um, and the, it was the really the kind of the, the day of hope, of joy, of promise, of a new, uh, of a, of a new direction. Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro feels the last four years have scarred and divided us. Now, she says, we must come together. Shortly after attending President Biden's speech, Senator Richard Blumenthal said in order to heal, Republicans have an obligation. Just as some of them fueled the fantasies and falsehoods that led that crowd to assault the Capitol, they can also reach out to that Trump base and emphasize the need for unity. Democrats now control both chambers, and the Senate has the power to convict in an impeachment trial against former President Trump. While a trial could divide Congress even more, some feel there must be accountability. So help me God. A message of unity and diversity, Kamala Harris now becomes the first woman and the first person of color to be the nation's vice president. Connecticut's Secretary of the State says this is so much more than a woman having a seat at the table. It's about showing girls and young women across our country that they too have the power to change the world. And now with a shift in the Senate, Democrats do have more power. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, what state leaders like our governor and lawmakers are hoping from this administration. Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.